right, so now we're doing. Uh, we are, apparently we we are in the Greenland. I don't know what kind of dimension this is or what different timeline, but yep, part number fifteen. Uh, we are we are using a flare gun just to light up our journey. So this is where I where I got the last time. I'm guessing the edges over here. I don't know, I'm curious. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, there is something. Well. I could have aimed a little bit higher, just a little bit. Okay. Okay, not there, not there. He must be freezing. What the hell is that? Investigate the ruins. What the hell is that? It looks like a human. I'm not your enemy. Oh, you're wrong, detective. You're wrong. Kill Jacob. Where is he? Come here, bastard. He was tough. Okay, next time I'll see you, Jeremy. 
shotgun it is. What's this? Okay. Get that eerie sound. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh my god, that's the same thing. Look. It's like the talisman. Align the stars. Sacrificial dagger. I thought it was okay, but... My goodness, look at this. Help! Are you kidding me? Oh, he's fast! 
What the? And again, huh? What the? All the way. Come fly with me. Come fly and fly away. With Jacob. Jeremy? The dark one. Everything! Aren't you happy? Stupid charlatan. What more do you want from me? You want me to lose my mind? Oh, my lord! Doctor! Baptiste! Quick! Jesus. What were you thinking, Compad? Well, that was disturbing. And we reached the last chapter. I don't know, it looks like he's gonna be the insane one. Yeah, I'm telling you guys, it's gonna be some really fucked up story. out for the rest of the night. <laughs> Come on out and join us, will you? I'll save you some gumbo. Good to have you back. You gave us all a good scare. What happened? You had a psychological breakdown. Sorry for manhandling you, but you're being violent. You stabbed Jeremy and then punched Dr. Gray. Are they okay? Jeremy's a little strange, but everything's back to normal. Really? All thanks to you, Combat. You want to try standing up? He stabbed Jeremy. Well, <laughs> if it isn't the hero of the day. How are you feeling, Detective? Never better. How about you two? Hey, Jeremy, I didn't do too much damage, did I? Things are fine. Very quiet. What's up with him? Painkillers? No. You see, despite you having the finesse of a one-eyed butcher, you managed to lobotomize, dear Jeremy. <laughs> I did what? <laughs> it's actually quite impressive. It's not like I hadn't considered it myself. I just wish Jeremy could have been helped without reducing his personality to that of an oyster. Yes. You'll optimize him by accident. He's gonna live. Of course. 
As long as someone keeps feeding him, he'll outlive the best of us. I mean, damn. I'm back to normal. If someone keeps feeding him. Does Emily know about Jeremy's condition? Yes. She seems to be handling it quite well under the circumstances. Wow. I mean, wow. Does she still want to take Jeremy away from Dorsetto? I will have to insist that you do. This is not that kind of institution. Jeremy, hang on for a little longer, okay? We'll be going back to New Orleans soon. Oh, good. I do so miss the city lights. There is a trophy. I need to point the gun at the human being. Is this gonna work with this? Watch out where you're waving that thing. Oh, okay. That was it. So I, I, I just needed to uh, take it out of the holster. All right. So that's accomplished. Objective. Case closed. Detective Convy had found Jeremy and brought him back to Dersetto. He worried that Emily wouldn't be all that happy with his performance, considering Jeremy's impromptu brain surgery. Maybe she would refuse to pay him in full. It was the kind of thought that would normally infuriate Conby, but right now he just felt happy to be back. No matter if he would be seeing the $150 or not, he couldn't wait to rendezvous with Emily and go back to New Orleans. Yeah, I have a bad feeling something's gonna happen. We'll just talk to all these people. Hey, Ruth. Hello. Glad to see you made it back to Dorsetto. You too, detective. Make sure to stay for the festivities. It's no Mardi Gras, but it ain't bad. You seen Emily around? <laughs> I saw her packing some things into that old jalopy you arrived in about an hour ago. I'm sure she hasn't given up on you yet. Catch you later. <laughs> Looking forward to it, detective. She hot. This one, on the other hand, you're nothing but mean to me. Good to see you back on your feet, something. detective. Have some gumbo. There's the Thanks. Gumbo. I'll save it for later. Yeah, you're gonna probably get a diarrhea or something. Seems like everyone's in a pretty good mood. The Eve of St. John is the most important date of the whole year. It's the only day when the black goat of the woods tends to her young. Oh yeah, I remember now. There's something, uh, a trophy about the black goat. I'm gonna go look for Emily. Don't worry about her. She wouldn't leave without you, would she? I'm sure there are some, still some uh, collectibles. And I missed out. I had to try what? Wait for Miss Hartwood. That is one impressive tree. More impressive than you could ever imagine. So how does this all work? You dance around chanting? For the ritual, I mean? Stay and find out, detective. It might just do you good. Mm hmm You haven't seen Emily, have you? No, detective. I haven't. Alright, 
Tell me, what the hell's about to happen here? Every year we have a little turn-the-page ceremony by the tree. It's symbolical. Symbol... It's like life has its cycles of grief and happiness. You know? Just like a tree facing the seasons. Things change, but remain the same. So this is basically New Year's Eve, but with a tree metaphor. Exactly. You're so smart. It's about starting again. I mean, who could use a positive message like that and more than a bunch of lunatics like us? I get the feeling some of you think this year is going to be special. Any idea why? Well, we got some new words, thanks to your buddy Jeremy, and some other changes to the program. Let's just say we're all in this year. Done? Or any more? Done. Well, let's talk to her. Hey, kid. What are you up to? Preparing for the ceremony. I don't want to disappoint Mother. What's your part in this? I'm the Cabri San Corn. It's very important. Only I can settle our debt. You know, I had my doubts, but you are in the right place, Grace. I think you might be right, for once. That's it. What is it? Don't worry. I'll remember. You should have it. What? Leave an offering. Go back to New Orleans with Jeremy and Emily Hartwood. Well, it looks like we, we are headed towards uh, the ending of the story but i know i probably i will trigger the ending with this here but there's some unfinished business yeah ah, i can talk to this guy what are you looking for just keeping an eye out for the stone radio says it could be a wild one you don't know where emily is do you She's packing some of Jeremy's things. Said she wanted to take him away. I'm sure she'll come and get you when she's ready. I should probably get a move on then. See you around, compare. See you around. Okay, we talk to her. So hold on, yeah. No, don't tell me I I ain't gonna be allowed to leave. I will just have to trigger the end. That's more likely. It's to going to happen? Oh no. Well, I don't know how much we have left, but in that case, I'm gonna finish the story right here. And it looks like uh, I'm done with the collectibles, and I'm because I'm missing still some. Yeah, I mean, look, and I now have to find like where I got all this, but death of the author, missing glasses. 
Dying with dignity, all three. I'm missing all three. The hardwood curse, all three. Where was this? You see, no, no matter how thorough I am, um, still. Ah, uh, yeah, and look, um, uh, to be fair, it's not that much. That's a shame. Set bonus. Unspeakable cult. Citus. What a terrible thing to recognize that your betterment was an illusion. Oh. Alright, I guess that's it. So, uh, yeah. Next time, ending. And I'll see you right there by that little uh, cute fountain. Guys, thank you very much. I'll see you later. Last video for the last time with this game. Love you all. Please consider to leave a like. That would help me tremendously. Consider subscribing. And commenting. And just have a lovely day.